Historically and traditionally, our culture has been a culture of observant people. With wisdom, our ancestors gathered much information and applied the lessons learned to benefit their lives and the lives of the present generation. And what I want to do today is share some facts with you about the use of commercial tobacco and how it's harming our people. See, the commercial tobacco industry doesn't want to tell you this, but they're adding about 60 different cancer-causing agents, as well as about 4,000 plus chemicals that are very harmful, like arsenic and rat poison. And that nicotine is the addictive drug that is in even higher amounts than smokeless tobacco. And so these things ingesting in our bodies are hurting us, hurting our future generation, our elders, um, you know, it's killing our people. Big tobacco companies breed on our cultural ways, toting their products as useful to us when in reality they're deadly and far from sacred. See, when we use commercial tobacco in our ceremonies, what we're saying is that we're ingesting these chemicals and these harmful things into our body. Again, we're not protecting ourselves. So what we want to try to do is to educate about the harmful uses of the harmful things in commercial tobacco. That way we keep our ceremonies sacred to us. And going back to what our elders taught us in the observant philosophy that we want to keep ourselves strong and healthy. So in the long run, we want to make it and keep it sacred to us. Together we as elders and parents and grandparents and this present generation are responsible to teach and to be role models, to carry our culture into the future. Like our ancestors, let us observe and apply the lessons learned into action. Will you stay with, stand with us today to say no to commercial tobacco products in our cultural and personal uses? Together, Together we, we can, can keep, keep it sacred. sacred.